hello there this is derek again and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm just going to be sharing with you the two major reasons why we install profile and device management on our iphone or ipad so if you're new here consider subscribing don't forget to like this video share to anyone you think this is going to be helpful to them and without further ado let's just dive into the video so the first thing i want to share with you is mostly a lot of people do install profile right here in order to get tweaked apps or third party app stores like tutu box and then app valley right here so right now they are all revoked you can see right here apps are revoked click to enter no revoke mode and when you click to enter no revoke mode, they are going to ask you to pay some monthly tips in order to just get non revoked apps and when you're trying to install any of these app stores they are going to tell you you need profile in order to install this and if you are new here this is going to be new to you but if you are old you know it and sometimes the reason why you don't get device management right here you need to install this profile right here and when you install profile you go to install your third party app store then device management is going to pop up in your settings right so i did a lot of videos and people were just coming to my comment sections telling me they just had profile and if you came from that old video to watch this video then yes you're going to get profile right here just profile when you go through that steps and you are going to get device management after you install these ones so if you want to know how to just install this profile right here i'm going to leave the video in my description so that you just follow the steps and then you get to install profile right here so the next major reason why i think we should get profile on our iphone which is really relevant is when i go to my settings like this and then go to my software update you're going to see i'm on ios 14.5.1 and with this if I come to profile right here and I install profile, it's going to give me the latest version of iOS that is going to come in future. So let's say in 7 June, iOS 15 is going to be launched. And when I download this profile right here, when it's released on the 7th of June, I'm going to be able to download iOS 15, which is going to be released to the public in September. So if you want to be part of the beta testers or you want to get your hands on iOS 15 earlier than anyone, they need to install profile right here. And then you go to your settings and then you check for update and you're going to get iOS 15. That is after 7th June upwards because iOS 15 is going to be released to the public in September, like I should say. So right now we have iOS 14.6 and when I go to my software update and I check right here, I'm not going to see iOS 14.6 beta 3. But when I install profile, when I install profile right here, like I'm trying to do right now, it's going to give me the chance to install iOS 14.6 beta 3, which is right now available. So mostly you're going to find it around here and then you just install. You just install, you install, you continue to install. And then when you're done, it's going to tell you to restart your device. Let me just go back and then so after I'm done installing it and I come to my software update and I check for update, you're going to see I'm on 14.6, meaning I'm going to get this future update and I can download and then install right away from here, which means we are some few days away from getting iOS 14.6. So if you want to get the newer update, like I said, you want to get iOS 15 come 7 June, you need to install profile and you're going to be able to just get all features on iOS 15 come 7 June. And you know installing the new updates like this one it has a lot of bugs and the features that are going to be released right here can be changed and it's not guaranteed this is what we are going to get so if maybe you would fail you can use a daily driver to just install the beta software updates then i would advise you to just get profile and then install them but if you feel you want to get new updates like i do always want to get new features on my phone new application updates so I don't get to see updates lined up like 10 or 20 when I just see a software update or an app update, I just do it right away. So if you feel like you're that kind of person, then you want to get have to get profile right here and then you install it and then you search for updates like I did and you download it and then make a date for iOS 15 because it's coming. Seriously, it's really coming. So if this was helpful, just give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share to anyone you think that is going to be helpful to them. And without further ado, I'm going to catch you in the next video. Peace.